thank you very much. That was amazing. Another round of applause for our brothers and sisters over there. Who made it? There'll be more when we um, finish off. Well, I just want to start by um, welcoming everybody, friends, family, community of Sarah Lance. Today, love that blossomed from a commitment to help those in need and flourished in many actions of Occupy Sydney has brought together in Martin Place. On this day, Lance and Sarah will pledge their lives as one and commit themselves to each other forever in marriage. We welcome each and every one of you to witness this marriage and ceremony in Martin Place, a place that holds much significance for Sarah and Lance. Martin Place has been ground zero for supporting Sydney's swelling homeless community and is where, for two years, Occupy Sydney had the longest continuous 24 hours, seven days a week Occupy Sydney movement. Both are close to Sarah Lance's hearts. When we think of love, we sometimes talk about people who deserve one another. Not only does Lance and Sarah deserve one another. They're perfect match. Soulmates, a pair, a fit, two peas in a pot. Their love is deep and warm. At the end of their journey, they can state with pride, I have touched his life or she has touched mine. They now stand proudly before us, humbled by you who join us to celebrate their wedding. There's a whole new network of relationships set up in this marriage. Sam, as you proudly um, walk Sarah down today to be married, but um, Lance, we all know this is a relationship established today so I just want to thank everyone for coming. To Sarah's mum, Lynn, Uncle Peter, Emma, Adrian, Abby, Jake, Summer and family members. Also to Lance, Spano, including Che and Lenny, Kai, Stevie, Daniel and Lance's grandchildren. Mama. And the Fano, Perry and Arnie. This is a solid new bridge between the families. We embrace family members of past and present future generations. So today, on this day, Lance and Sarah, who are standing in front of us as a symbol of open expression of your love and commitment to one another. The love you each hold in your heart wasn't put there to stay. It becomes a love as you give it away as you give your love to each other, it would radiate and touch the world. As you share and nurture it, it will continue to grow. Today on their wedding day, Sarah and Lance embrace you all as their family and community. I'm gonna share a little passage of scripture. First Corinthians chapter 13. Love is kind and patient, never jealous, boastful, proud or rude. Love isn't selfish or quick-tempered. It doesn't keep a record of wrong that others do. Love rejoices in truth, but not in evil. Love is always supportive, loyal, hopeful and trusting. Love never fails. So I start by saying, Good afternoon, my name is Rick Herrera. I've been called upon by Lance and Sarah to celebrate their marriage according to natural law and God's law. Before you were joined in marriage in my presence and the presence of these witnesses, I'm reminded, I remind you of the solemn and binding nature of relationship which you are about to enter. Marriage, according to the law in Australia, is a union of a man and woman to the exclusion of all others. Voluntary entered into for life. 
So, I start by asking you, Lance. Will you, Lance, take Sarah to be your wife, to share your life with her? Do you pledge that you will love, honor, care, and make coffee for her? <laughs> with tenderness and affection, through all varying experiences of life. Oh. Amen. Now you, Sarah, will you, Sarah, take Lance to be your husband, to share your life with him? Do you pledge that you will love, honor, and care for him with tenderness and affection through all varying experiences of life? Awesome. <laughs> now we can probably start this, eh? Okay. Lance and Sarah, you are now about to make promises to one another. Today these marriage vows and beautiful words represent even more beautiful intentions. You will find that as you, leave, as you leave these vows over the years, investing your time, your love and your commitment to one another, the happy times will be twice as happy because there'll be someone to share these special times with. And when life gets tough, it will only be half as bad because there'll be someone there by your side. Family and friends, please listen carefully. That is right now. Sorry, guys. It's all good. Coming the closer. Give me a second. So, mic check. I'll just give him a sec, there we go. I guess you didn't expect that, eh? <laughs> okay. There we go, it's back on business, there we go. Family and friends, please listen closely. As now Lance and Sarah now share their personal vows of love. So, Lance, I'll stand here. I call upon the people here, present to witness, that I, Lance Priestley, that I, Lance Priestley, choose Sarah Jane Whitehead, choose Sarah Jane Whitehead, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife. I promise to stand beside her. I promise to stand beside her. Support, protect, and defend you. Support, protect, and defend you. I promise to make you happy when you're sad. I promise to make you happy when you're sad. Make you laugh when you're crying. Make you laugh when you're crying. Make you coffee when you're thirsty. And make you coffee when you're thirsty. <laughs> Who slipped that in there? <laughs> Sarah Jane. <Yay. laughs> Sarah Jane, you are to me. Sarah Jane, you are to me. My four winds. My four winds. And my seven seas. And my seven seas. My star to steer by. My star to steer by. My anchor. My anchor. My girl. My girl. My centrifugal force. My centrifugal force. That holds together my world. That holds together my world. I could just say I love you. I could just say I love you. But words without deeds are a garden of weeds. But words without deeds are a garden of weeds. So I might take a moment more. So I might take a moment more. In our Maori culture, we don't have new words to thank you. In our Maori culture, we don't have new words to thank you. Or sorry. Or sorry. We have a series of societal obligations. We have a series of societal obligations which convey which convey a concept. A concept in saying so. In saying so. Mahi taku aroha. Mahi aroha. For my years of love forever. For my years of love forever. In saying this, I commit to you. In saying this, I commit to you a lifetime of obligation. A lifetime of obligation to deliver. Sarah, hold me to these promises. Sarah, hold me to these promises, not, not as mere words uttered, floating by on a breeze, but as the foundation stones of forever. I promise to take. I promise to take you where few you think to go. I promise to hold you close and comfort you. Awesome. Now, Sarah. My turn. <laughs> I call upon the people here. I call upon the people here. Present, present to witness. To witness. That I, Sarah Jane. That I, Sarah Jane. Right here. Right here. 
choose you, Lance Presley. Choose you, Lance Presley. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Lance, you're the most amazing man I've ever met. Lance, you're the most amazing man I've ever met. You're compassionate. You are compassionate. Dependable. Dependable. You stand up for what you believe. You stand up for what you believe in. You make me laugh. You make me laugh. You make me think. You make me think. You make me coffee. You make me coffee. <laughs> and you make me happy. And you make me happy. And I could not ask for a better father for Jake. And I couldn't ask for a better father for Jake. With my heart and my soul. With my with my heart and my soul. <laughs> with my heart and my soul. I'm completely and totally in love with you. I'm completely and totally in love with you. I promise to stand by you. I promise to stand by you. To stand up for you. To stand up for you. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. To encourage and to support your dreams and passions. And to encourage and support your dreams and passions. I will be with you. I will be with you. On all life's adventures. On all of life's adventures. I love you through sunshine and storms for all eternity. I love you through sunshine and storms for all eternity. Isn't she such an awesome liar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lance. <laughs> Lance and Sarah, your wedding rings are symbols of a promise that you have made to each other. They are what links the present with the future. The promises made today must be lived tomorrow. Let your wedding rings be a constant reminder of your love on this very special day. Jake, can you present the rings? Should we come back in the night? May this ring I place on your hand show the world that you are mine, I will love you forever. May the simple token remind you of my love, friendship and devotion to you for eternity. <laughs> Who sized these things? <laughs> That's because you made a way. Marks, may this ring I place on your hand. Show the world that you are mine. And that I will love you forever. May the simple token remind you of my love, my friendship, my devotion to you for eternity. They hold dreams in their hearts and today open a new doorway into their tomorrows. And they wish to achieve these dreams with courage and confidence. Their request is simple, that you all endeavour to rejoice and celebrate the love that they have experienced and their vision for their future together. I'm proud and delighted to express to you all, Lance and Sarah are now husband and wife. Lance, you may kiss the bride. signing their marriage certificates. Now enjoy the music for the next few minutes. The batteries run out again. <laughs> then all, we'll come back to this. Mike check. Thank you. Have we actually got to carry you? Yeah, I'm going to go.
Exchange rings as a visible sign of your commitment to share a new life together. As you exchange vows with one another, we witness faith. As you gave and received these rings, we witnessed hope. As you shared your kiss with your husband, we witnessed love. Please everyone put your hands together for Lance and Sarah Presley. Okay. Well, just so you all know, please come forward, greet the bride. We're going to cut some cake together. We're also going to be setting up um, some koi for um, our feeding tonight. So you're all more than welcome to join us. Uh, before we go, but I just want to pray over the couple, if that's all right. I just want to ask God to bless this marriage. So, Lord, I just thank you for everybody here today, Lord. I thank you for this family, for this new couple that you've joined together under you, Lord Father. I pray that... As they start this journey together, that you will just cover them, bless them, Lord Father, and give them wisdom to walk together, to lift each other up at times where everything feels impossible. I just pray, Lord, that more than anything, that you be the center of everything they do. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Bless you guys. Do make it, Do make Uh, bless you guys, it's all right, yeah, 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 we knew all that. So, you would you are going to win, Joe. Make sure you get too busy with everyone.
Does anyone have a protractor? <laughs> It's him, not me! Oh, come on! They be cutting the squares. You know, He's never been married before. Go oh, hey. It can be cut like that. I need to. Uh... <laughs> no, let her cut the rest of it. I'll just cut the rest of it. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My best design is that better up for the boys to give them a bit of men in the sun. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I'm done. Are you alright? Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> That was a beautiful wedding. Oh, this is awesome, there, um, isn't it, Justin? Not yet, darling. Not yet. Sorry. Good on you, mate. Yeah, one of mine here. One here, mate. Oh. Oh, yes, funny. Man of God. Oh yeah. Goodness gracious. I know what's gonna happen with those boots later on. <laughs> Can you all smile like the anons? <laughs> Oh, 
Thanks, bro. Congratulations. Can I get a photo with the bride? Do you want me to take it? Do you want me to take it? Do you want me to take it? I'll take a picture. It's definitely a tilt shot. <laughs> <laughs>